Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupy Plays All the Games. This time with the Game Dev Network Gooseberry Jam. The Game Dev Network holds jams all the time. If you want more information on what the Game Dev Network is, you can check out their jam page. The theme for this one is You Are the Villain. I'll be playing all of the games that were entered in this jam for a minute each, 10 per video. You can check out the games in the description to play them for yourselves. Um, if you want to check out my info, all of that's in the description. You can follow me on various social media platforms. And if you like what I do, consider supporting me on Patreon, as this video is brought to you by the lovely people on Patreon, who support me each and every month so I can continue to record all of these game jams and cover so many little indie games. Alright, next. We're playing Necro Reaper. Cool, I like these graphics. Which one? is jump. There we go. Oh, are you like a, a thing? thought you might have been an enemy, but I wasn't sure. Upgrades. Alright, Aqua, I don't think we have zero souls. We're fine. We can't have any of this, but thank you. I'm gonna go out and kill some stuff so that I can then have a soul. Hmm. I don't really see anyone this far. Apart from that orb. Orb. Oh. take your soul. So you don't want to kill the soul. You want to let them, like, absorb. That's no worries. And you can use them to upgrade. I could use, like, old men. With walking sticks. That's who we're killing. Do we die in the sunlight? I feel like we die in the sunlight. We die in the sunlight. Let's go. Oh, they got dark really fast. Oh, wait. No, this is like a different part of the world, I think. Right, so it's like dark over here, but it's light over there. Okay. Next. We're playing Sinister Sermon. Yeah, that's the name. Oh, these graphics are great. So it looks like. Yeah, someone's trapped. Ha ha ha. I finally captured you, Dan Squarejaw. After years of struggle, I, Dr. Miss Sinister, have finally defeated you. Although, I couldn't have done it without my dear assistant. And might I say, you're looking extra fine today, my darling. You really rocking that lab coat. Wow. <laughs> Speaking of which, oh, I think it's me. Use one to five to two for repairs. Okay. Really, really evil minions activated. I don't know why you're weighing at me. Also, my mouse did not lock into this game, and I feel like that's definitely worth mentioning. I'm probably gonna click out of this game. Ooh. Oh, see? I did it. Ah. No, sorry. My mouse isn't locked in, so. Yeah, I didn't mean to destroy that, I'm sorry. I just didn't want other programs to start up. Which is exactly what was gonna happen. Okay. Yeah, where is it? Now I can begin my monologue. Uh -huh. Come here. Can I fix this with a wrench? Fix the wall. I can't fix the wall. Are you still talking? I'll start when I first saw you. You know, you should probably work on the fact that there are minions getting in and you need to kill this guy, but I mean, or not. Two kinds of people, super villains and heroes, and this is what separates them. You get too caught up in this story and not just doing what they need to do. Next. We're playing the Oxygen Thief. Alone on an alien planet, you've lost your ship and the air is thin. Your only choice is to pillage the local town and steal from the innocent. Weave your cool narrative across the land. Alright, steal oxygen tank. Alright, we'll do it, we'll do it. Alright. So we've got these guys. Give me your oxygen. Yeah, sorry. 
I need your oxygen tank because if not, I'll die. Probably should have left like one tank there. Hello, Kiwi. Kiwi's the bird squeaking in the background. I feel like I might come across them again. But then again, I get a lot of like points for stealing, so. I like the graphic style in this. It's really quite pretty. Oh, I was trying to steal from them. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know that I just couldn't. Air is too thin. You're an evil, in you're an evil incarnated. Right, there's just like some ones just hanging out here. We'll take those. This. How do I pick you up? How do I pick you up? How do I pick you up? I have no idea. But I really want to pick it up. Uh, I guess I can't because it was up on a ledge, maybe? You just have to run into it, but I don't know how to jump, so. This one I can steal from two someones. Don't mind me. Just your friendly neighborhood thief. Next. We're playing Street Runner. Alright, so these are your upgrades. I have zero money, so it doesn't matter. Let's just do target A. Target a man with brown hair, skin, shirt, and pants. Nope. Brown hair. That guy. I mean, this is the police. I mean, none of you should have probably seen me, but, you know. Do we do it? We got 50, 50 money, so we can. Let's run fast. Let's smoke screen. That sounds fun. Target two. Sure. A woman. With blue hair, blue skin, and yellow dress. Okay. No. Blue hair, blue skin. These look like police officers. That's... It's you. How do I use my smoke screen? Oh, well, I was really close to the end, actually, so it didn't even matter. There's three people next to you. Interesting. This is a neat little game. Next. We're playing Repo Runner. Citizen, you have an outstanding debt of 3,000 coins. Since you are unable to pay, you are now employed by Repo Co. Working hard as a repo runner. Welcome to your first day at Repo Co. I'm Reapy, and I'm your partner starting now. At Repo Co., we possess vehicles from our debt debtees who haven't paid up. Check your dashboard for info about the target's color and license plate. Press Z to scan. Okay, now let's begin. So we need red. Yeah, that's it. Then we repo it. Cool. That was really easy. Done. Good job. You earned 150 with a bonus of 14 for your time of 14. Cool. So yeah, we still owe tons, but that was the first day. It's fine. Now we need white. Okay, white. There's lots of people around. Nope. That looks kind of like the right color. Maybe not? No. Okay. Doesn't matter. Ooh, that looks definitely like the right color. Yeah, let's grab that. Hey, what the hell? Get away from my car. Repossess my car. Why don't you repossess my fist? I mean, let's repo their car. You eat a knuckle sandwich and pass out. The car's towed anyway. Oh, that doesn't sound good. They hurt me. <laughs> I'm just doing my job, man. Good job. You're in 300 with a bonus of 4 for your time of 3.4. So I did get 300. That's good. Why I collected negative money. Your nose is broken. Oh, the R charged you 650 to fix it. That's pretty sad. This is pretty glum. Oh, there's lots of yellow. These aren't the right color yellow, they're like an orange yellow. That's the right color yellow. Nope. So really you gotta find cars fast so that the people don't see you. Okay, grab it, quick. Whoever's there, just forget about him. We have negative money. We're even more in debt. <laughs> Next. We're playing Soul Collector. Alright. Oh, I get it. So we kind of jump by doing this. Find souls and send it to hell. We can't double jump, so we need to, like, get on to some platforms and be faster about our movement. Ah. I feel this is probably a whole lot easier on touch devices. Do you ever get that feeling? Wah. Let's go up. Yep, four. These graphics are super cute. Why are they all running around? 
Don't they know that that's... Oh, the water's, like, coming up. Yep. It was like, oh, you got used to using the controller thingy. Now we're going to change stuff. If I go up, keep going up. Nope. <laughs> Just want to go straight up and grab that one. Now everyone's moving around because we don't have a lot of time. As the water's coming up. How do I do this? I'm trying to stay where there's a lot of like bricks just so I don't fall off. It's a really neat game though. That ghost felt like, I felt like he just wanted to touch me. Next. We're playing 12 Little Monkeys. Stupid. Everyone at school, they're just like the rest. Just a bunch of fatties and idiots who don't know what they are talking about and acting all cool in a bunch of monkeys. Cool. So we're at school. Go away. Go away. We're not going to punch anyone. Why would you punch people? Alright, so we can kind of walk around. Punch him. Oh, I think I got in trouble. The stupid teacher caught me, but it's not over, so I just need to punch me without teacher knowing. It does say, hint, get rid of the monkeys by any means necessary, but I, I didn't even really punch them. I feel like I need to isolate them. Come on, swing. Yeah, I'm such a good kid. Get off the swing. I didn't do anything. I'm running away from the crying kid. I'm pretty sure I kicked him while I was on the swing. Did I push the kid off? Maybe. Maybe I'm just using the slide. Who knows? Aw. Well, I guess I could, like, slide into someone. Or, like, jump rope into someone. Okay, so you have to use those means to sort of knock people over and stuff. Interesting. Next. We're playing uh, the minimalistic, minimalist mermaid VR. So, there we go. So this is meant to be a VR game. I'm not using a VR, because I'm not great as a human. Why don't you sing by that? Because that looks important. Hmm. Sing from right there, mermaid. Such beautiful songs. Boat right there. The pirates, come on out. I feel like I'm trying to get the pirates to crash. Come on out, pirates. It's a very interesting game. We're definitely gonna crash it, like, right where I am. Rocks. Uh, I guess it's a passage, so there isn't a whole lot of rocks. It's just a bit at the bottom. Weird. Next. We're playing How to Fly Like a Dragon, which doesn't, mm, like, lock your mouse in, because games don't need to do that anymore, I guess. Alright. So that makes it hard for me to not be on this side of the screen. Should we have fire? Man, the controlling of this isn't the best for me. I just can't seem to get it. Okay. And yeah, my mouse isn't locked in the window, so sometimes it's highlighting stuff on the bottom of my screen. Sorry about that. Got 
that. Does this count as hit? Oh no, I lived. Yeah, we died. Oh, maybe not, maybe not, okay. I like the concept behind this, I just wish that I was better at it, and I feel like if it locked in my mouse, I would be better. Look at how thin that area is, how am I meant to get through that? Next. We're playing a send demon. Ah, oh, it's space. No worries. Can we fight you? I wanna fight you. I feel like we should be able to- ooh, no that's what we fight. I don't know any of the controls. I assume we just be able to run into things. Hit space does that. I mean, no. Mm. Right, it says to cast spells, but it doesn't have any actual controls over how I'm meant to do it. Apart from they wanted to add more, but I didn't in the time that was set because it was a game. I have no idea how to kill things. Can I do it? Yeah. Just kind of run into the next floor. I think it's definitely a good start. I just wish there were instructions. Next.